get a bucket load of email here at V8 Extra regarding the V8 supercar engine. Well, today I'm here in Brisbane at Noonan Race Engineering, who do Brad Jones Racing Engines, uh, to show you how an engine is built. This is an actual engine being prepared for Bathurst, so let's have a crack at it. This is the engine block in front of me. They're about $9,000. It's a specialised block, Holden Motorsport block, brought from the USA, a lot of machining done. Into that goes the crankshaft. Right. Crankshaft, that's about 6,000 bucks worth and good for about 20,000 kilometres. You can use whatever you like, but it's got to weigh no less than 16.5 kilograms. Front cover, all handmade in-house, an absolutely beautiful piece of fabrication. Camshaft. This has been a major step forward in the category. This is now a control item. They're worth about 1100 bucks. Piston and rods. Beautiful little combination. These are all made in the US, two specifications for V8 supercars. Um, they weigh about 500 grams, which is a minimum weight you have to have. thousand dollars for a set of these bolts. Now this is an area of serious development. This is the sump that is milled out of a solid chunk of aluminium. 15 hours on the machine. Absolutely stunning bit of engineering. Just got to work out where it goes. Oil pump from the USA. Oil filter, fair dinkum, that's even delicious. Water pump, all made in-house. Stunning. Head studs, another 300 bucks. Cylinder head, absolutely beautiful engineering again. Um, these are a Holden Motorsport head imported from the US, but the teams here do all their own porting. Uh, internally. They're worth about 12,000 bucks a set and the development here is what makes these things really happen. Head gasket, I forgot the other side, might leak a bit. Valley tray, handmade. Inlet manifold, made in house from a solid chunk of aluminium again, about 13,000 bucks. Trumpets and the injectors go in here. Rocker covers, again, not tin, out of a solid chunk of aluminium. Brad Jones Racing. Pay extra for that. Now for a moment I thought spark plugs might have been conventional, look conventional, 80 bucks each. Fuel rail. Hand fabricated stainless steel exhaust, 5,000 bucks. So there you have it, 100 grand plus, good for about 3,000 kilometres and only this many bolts left.